We're doing an oil change on a, a 1998 uh, Road King. And uh, so the first thing as per service manual, uh, start up the bike if it's not warm, warm it up for 10 minutes. Place the pack under the side stand. Place your pail under the bike. Under the bike, this is your feed hose. And this is the bolt that you want to take out to remove all the oil. So this one, it's a three quarter inch socket. Leave your dipstick in when you're uh, loosening the bolt, the drain bolt, so that the oil doesn't um, run out very fast. And then once your hand is out of the way and it's flowing, then you can remove this one and the flow will increase. There's a magnet on the back of your bolt and it's good to inspect it at this time to see if there are any metal shavings. It'll give you a sense of the condition of the bike. As you can see this one is, is very good. Make sure you remove the o-ring and always replace it. It's cheap insurance and uh, you'll make sure that it doesn't leak. You can place the drain plug back in so that you can move your pen and move on to the oil filter. If you have a Harley uh, oil filter remover, uh, it's good to use it, especially with this cutout. And you put that up against the engine so that it gives you some clearance. Also make sure you line underneath the oil filter. If you don't want oil all over your wiring, just put something that's gonna drain the oil away from the engine. Once you make it all the way around where the cutout is against the engine, remove this piece. And remove the oil filter by hand. Nice and close. So after you remove your tin foil, place a rag underneath because still a few drops coming down. And then if there if there was any spillage in here, you want to wipe it off now because once the oil filter is on there, you won't have any room to put your finger in through and, and wipe it off. Just keep it nice and clean. Take some oil, run it around the seal here and the, the reason for doing that is so that it doesn't the heat doesn't glue your rubber seal onto the the engine and then you can't take it off so this is a way of preventing that from happening so it's easier to remove it afterwards okay time to put it on 
you can prime uh, the oil filter by pouring some oil into it before you place it back on. The only downside is you'll spill some of the oil, uh, but the engine will start a little easier the first time. I prefer to do it dry so that I don't have a mess. Once you get to the end, you see it's catching. As per service uh, manual, it says half a turn. Tighten it to half a turn. And they do it, they say do it by hand. So we'll take it here and we'll try to go half a turn. And I would say we're, we're there. Put some oil in the bike. <laughs> We're aiming for about three and a half liters. And all the Harleys of this vintage, except for soft tails and sportsters, should be checked upright for the level of the oil dipstick. So this one will be checked on level. Check your level upright. Push it all the way in, pull it out. We're right there which means we're about right. You want to be half, about halfway on a cold engine because it, it will rise. Harleys don't like to be completely full, so you want to give it a little bit of space. About halfway is what's recommended by, by most Harley guys. So we're there.